6 p.m. in Mawero East B Village, Eastern Division in Busia Town, finds children playing at the constructed water spring. A number of five-liter jerrycans stand discarded near the spring as the children shout to each other, laughing at their jokes. The spring has three pipes from which groundwater should be flowing. However, only one pipe is working and the water comes out in a trickle. To reach the pipe, one has to wade through a stagnant pad of brown water as Hasfa Turutea and her daughter are doing. Noinzo kujia kuno ya desa wanga munana nova wako kuminabili. So nga ya mazate ne wansi wanwalu wanebiru mama zigai miridate gata ambula. The water spring serves over 500 people from the villages of Mawero East B, Kinyole and Kayola. According to a 2020 UNICEF and World Health Organization report, water insecurity affects the lives of women and girls because in most cases they make long journeys to collect the water, losing time in education, work and putting themselves at the risks of danger on the way. Turutea, a mother of six, is a charcoal seller. She says the amount of time she spends at the borehole has an impact on her income. The shrub and trees around the spring offer cover to wrongdoers who sometimes abuse the girls who fetch water at night. Busia Town is one of the important border gateways into the country. The district local government plans to request the government to elevate the town to city status. However, water and sanitation are tied to that elevation as the town is dogged with insufficient water supply and dilapidated public toilets. The National Water and Sewerage Corporation has a customer base of about 4,800 people in Busia district. Ronald Akampa, the area manager, says the limited water supply is due to the corporation's use of an old system built in 2001. What we are covering is, is basically, if you count maybe one municipality and uh, maybe three or four sub-counties out of like 20, sub-counties in the entire district. Although Akampa says the municipality has 100% coverage of water, many do not agree with him. Not everyone can afford to pay for a jerry can of water. According to Akampa, many people in this bustling town still use shadoofs and underground wells as their main water supply. And they are very contaminated. So it, they cause waterborne diseases like dysentery, cholera. Then secondly, Busia is uh, partly a mineral district, meaning that if you decided to extract water underground, there can easily be uh, extraction of unsafe water. Tetumala wishing Abana Teva Dukany, cause that if I have a cool watch, it is over and butozama nida. Nayavana will do Nakubaba Dukana. To Ganueda, Nate, or Gatekam Shidomonega Slam Gabamacha, for Tuga Senga Jamu Kakatono. To improve the livelihood of the local population, the Ministry of Water and Environment, with funding from the World Bank, has completed a project to improve the water supply and sanitation systems. The project, which has been designed to serve a population of 186,296 people with water supply services and sanitation services in 83 villages by 2040, is being implemented at a cost of 41 billion shillings. The project site, located in Madua Air Village in Majanji sub-county, is adjacent to Lake Victoria. We had to lay two pipes down at the bottom of the lake uh, so that we can get good water, good quality water. Uh, this project is designed to be for a capacity of 13,000 cubic meters per day. From the intake, the water is pumped here to the aerator and the purpose of the aerator is to mix the water with oxygen 
because when the water in the lake it doesn't have oxygen, you mix oxygen and that oxygen removes the bad smell from the water. The project will be handed over to the National Water and Sewerage Corporation. Where we are here is called a high lift pump station. <laughs> this is where now the treated water which is very clean across the wall is a clear water tank. So the water comes and is pumped by these tanks. These pumps, these big ones, they are for pumping water to Butangasi. The project will also establish 250 new water connections and public toilets and pit latrines at key locations. For women like to retire, improved access to clean water will reduce the out-of-pocket expenses her family spends every week on treating waterborne diseases like diarrhea. It will also free her daughters from the burden of spending hours at the water spring, hours they would have spent doing their homework from school and engaging in productive activities. Gillian Nantume, NTV, Weekend Edition.